हेलो एवरीवन इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी सिंगल फेज सिंक्रोनस मोटर देर आर सम स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ सिंक्रोनस मोटर्स वर्किंग ऑन द सिंगल फेज एसी सप्लाई टू ऑफ देम आर रिलक्टेंस मोटर एंड हिस्टरिसिस मोटर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी रिलक्टेंस मोटर कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑपरेशन हियर वी कैन सी प्रोजेक्टेड पोल्स हियर this these are the projected poles then the rotor structure is squirrel cage type and we are providing here single phase ac supply and we know there is a shaft where shaft is revolving and this is the stator we can uh, we can see all this part in this now we will see the stator winding is supplied by the single phase ac supply and it produces the revolving magnetic field according to the split phase principle the rotor is squirrel cage type having projected poles here we can see the projected poles when stator winding is switched on revolving field is established revolving at ns where ns is synchronous speed due to the presence of squirrel cage motor start as an induction motor and reaches a speed very near to the synchronous speed now due to this projected poles what happens air gap between the stator and rotor is non uniform stator and rotor air gap is non uniform and reluctance in the flow of flux is less where air gap is less and reluctance to the flow of flux is more where air gap is more now what happens the revolving flux of stator tries to follow the path of least reluctance means where the air gap is less it tries to follow the path of least reluctance as a result the rotor gets pulled into synchronism and continues to run at synchronous speed now we will see why this motor or uh, this motor is called as reluctance motor in next diagram we will see here is the torque speed characteristic the torque due to which the rotor gets pulled in a synchronism is called as reluctance torque okay now we will see the magnitude of starting torque depends upon position of rotor also the torques changes when switching action switching action here we can see the switching action or a switching point switching action from induction motor to synchronous motor takes place in this torque speed characteristic in x axis there is a speed the speed changes from n0 to ns now on y axis there is a torque and here the motor action changes from induction motor to synchronous motor so this is the point which is called as the switching point okay so this is the torque speed characteristic of reluctance motor now we will see merits or we can say advantages of this motor this motor has constant speed like three phase synchronous motor second but it does not require dc supply for excitation purpose hence it is less complicated and needs less maintenance next we will see limitations it has limitations due to low value of efficiency it has low efficiency value next also rotor must be lightweight to start rotating and the third is power factor of the motor is also low so it has a low power factor problem now we will see the application where the reluctance motor used due to the constant speed of reluctance motor they are preferred in the following applications first is timing devices timing devices means clocks second gramophones gramophones to rotate the disc in gramophones to rotate the disc we are using and in third recording instruments so this is all about the reluctance motor thank you